Good afternoon and welcome to the West Side After School Theater and we are delighted you're here. Thank you for helping your children learn their lines and be ready for our performance today. Studio One is recording this, so if you would like a copy, you can speak to Ryan back there afterwards or contact uh, the city and they can get you in touch with the people who can get you a copy. So, we are ready? We're ready? We're ready. So here is the mystery of the gum drop dragon. Alas, what woe has fallen on our candy land kingdom today? Whoever could have stolen my gum drop dragon? If you ask me, it was the keeper of the town museum. He always did think the gumdrop dragon would look lovely stuffed and mounted. Now, now, Princess, I'm sure the museum keeper would never take your beloved pet. Princess, I have an idea. You might send the town crier throughout Candyland with a proclamation offering a reward to the person who finds the gumdrop dragon. Why, that's a wonderful idea. Just, what would you offer as a reward? Well, I hadn't thought about that. I don't know. I thought not. Then I'd say it isn't a very good idea. I disagree. The idea is a very good one, and I know it can work. Simply put into your proclamation that whoever finds the gumdrop dragon may choose his own reward. Of course, the very thing. Now, how does one go about sending a proclamation? I've never done it before. Call in the court scribe. He will write the proclamation on a scroll, and the town crier will read it throughout the land. Yes, Your Highness. Send the court scribe to the throne room, please. At once, Your Highness. Oh, I do hope this will work. I'm sure the dragon will be found. The court scribe. At your service, Your Highness, what shall it be? A poem, a story of magic? Neither. Today the task I bring upon you is not a happy one. In that case, if you'll excuse me, Your Highness, I will go and get my handkerchief first. I always cry when I, make, when I write sad stories. <laughs> My gumdrop dragon was stolen from his cage in the courtyard. No trace of him can be found. I would like you to write a proclamation offering a reward for his return. Your every wish is my command, princess. Address this proclamation to the people of the kingdom. I would suggest starting it with the hear ye, hear ye, all ye good people of the kingdom. This is a proclamation from the princess of Kenya. Yes, that's perfect. Now say something about the reward for bringing back my gumdrop dragon. The princess of Kenya offers a reward to anyone who finds her missing pet, the gumdrop dragon, and the villain who stole him away. The person returning both for her may choose anything he or she desires for the Lord. Here he Excellent. Very well worded. I shall the er, <clears throat> thank you. I'm very grateful to you. Thank you, Princess. Yes, Your Highness. Send the town crier to the throne room, please. At once, Your Highness. And now to send my proclamation throughout the kingdom for all to hear. <coughs> the town crier. Yes, Your Majesty. How may I be of service? I would like you to read this proclamation 
to my people. Would you like to hear me read first? Yes. I have a very good voice, you know. <laughs> yes, I would like that. Thank you. Hear ye, hear ye, all ye good people of the kingdom. This is a proclamation from the Princess of Candyland. My, such a nice, strong voice. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Daffy, but please don't interrupt me. I cannot work with interruptions. It is one of my rules. <laughs> yes, please continue, Town Crier. No one will interrupt again. Thank you, Princess. Now let me see. Where was I? <clears throat> The Princess of Candyland offers a reward to anyone who finds her missing pet, the Golden Drop Dragon. In the village who stole him away, the person returned both to her may choose anything he or she desires for a reward. Hear ye, hear ye! Beautifully done. I shall depend on you to read it throughout my kingdom and to make sure every one of my subjects hears it. You can depend on me, Princess. And now to hope with all my heart, because I believe it will be so, my gumdrop dragon will be returned to me. <laughs> Princess, the sun is shining this morning, and the birds are singing. Why don't you try to smile? I will never smile again, for a week has passed and no one has found my gumdrop dragon. I fear the gumdrop dragon is gone for good. You must learn to live without him, Princess. I never did think we'd find that dragon. <laughs> princess, do try to be cheerful. When you are sad, the whole kingdom of Candyland is sad. How can I be happy when my heart is broken? Perhaps we can mend it for you. You may try, but I'm sure nothing will ever make me smile again. Nevertheless, may I have your permission to call the clown? You may call her. Yes, Lady Taffy. Send the clown to the throne room, please. At once, Lady Taffy. <laughs> I do not think the clown will seem funny to me today. But perhaps she will. The clown. I'm here, as you can see, somewhere. Your Highness, I'm at your service. What would you like, a song, perhaps? Ladies, please join me. Hooray, hooray, today's the day. Today is the day we've chosen a play. Of course, today is the end of the day. Because any day is the day that we play. <laughs> Who is crying so loudly? That's my job. I'm the job crier. Have I been replaced? Enough, enough. You have done your best. But it does not make the princess happy. You may go now and thank you for trying. You made me relax. You still have your job. It's just the princess. Well, let's not give up. Try the wizard. He's a master at magic. Perhaps he can cheer the princess. Yes, Lady Taffy. Bring the chocolate wizard to the throne room, please. At once, Lady Taffy. My princess, if you will observe the wizard carefully, his tricks will fascinate you and you will soon forget about the gumdrop dragon. I will never forget about the gumdrop dragon. The chocolate wizard. Good day, and what would the people of the court like to see? Perhaps a white rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> you are a wizard, and wizards are supposed to be very wise. Can you read the future? Otherwise, I have failed again. I cannot go, but I hate to admit it. I'm just a over goofball magician. Oh, I am sorry. I know how you must feel, for I too am unhappy. Allies, I have to. No. Here, here, that of the wizard. Be gone! Allies, I have to. You have not failed to cheer me. It just can't be done, that's all. Thank you for your thankfulness. I hope your happiness recovers. It's not fair for me to be happy when my gumdrop dragon is lonely somewhere, the prison of the villain who took him from me. Oh, what a dreadful thought. My gumdrop dragon could be a prisoner.
Your Highness, I came as fast as I could. The gatekeeper begged an audience with you. He says he has important news. Do you think it's about my gumdrop dragon? A week and a day have passed since he disappeared. He wouldn't say. He said he would only talk with you. Will you see him? Of course. Please send him in. At once. <laughs> Oh, I hope it's about my gumdrop dragon. The gatekeeper. Your Highness, it's such an honor to be in the throne room. And may I, and may I say, you've done a wonderful job of the lighting and the decor of, and the colors just all tied together. And, and may I say, you, you are wearing a very stunning view. I believe I can see. Yes, thank you, but do you have news of my gumdrop dragon? Yes, a very strange thing. Yes, indeed, a very strange thing. Speak up and stop sputtering. The princess sorry. is waiting. Sorry, my, sorry, my lady. Princess. I'm out of breath. I ran all the way from the castle from the tower, how, tower, kingdom tower to tell you what I've seen. And what have you seen? <coughs> this morning at the gatehouse tower, I saw something strange procession winding its way to our town. Is that so? But when I came nearer, I began to see. First came a man, and then the villain. Next, Your Highness. Next? Came the gumdrop dragon. The gumdrop dragon! Are you sure? Yes, Your Highness. They already passed through my gates and took coming, coming up to the castle. At last, prepare a feast. Let there be laughing and rejoicing. We must celebrate the return of my gumdrop dragon. Your Highness, there was others in the per procession, even the villain. He's in change at the end of the line. Let them all come, including the villain. He too knows what it's like to be a prisoner, as my gumdrop dragon was. Thank you for your joyful news. Your Highness, the victor, the young prince, and his prisoner have come to see you. The t and her subjects, <coughs> and your subjects are reading him now. Bring the prince to me at once. I must welcome him royally. Yes, Your Highness. He must be a very brave prince who have found the gumdrop dragon and captured the thief who took him. Oh, I'm sure he is very brave and good. Prince Peppermint Stick. Princess, I've heard of you. I'm glad to finally meet you. You are very kind, my noble sir. Is it true you have found my gumdrop dragon? Yes, Princess, it is, it is true. I found your gumdrop dragon and the thief who took him. I, both I return to you. Again, my thanks to you, sir. May I ask once you come? I come from the neighboring kingdom of Peppermint Green. I was traveling through your kingdom when I heard a proclamation. 
I immediately joined the search. And luck was with you. Indeed, I was fortunate enough to stumble upon a tiny cave hidden away in the Eastern Mountains. I intended to investigate and found the gumdrop dragon tied up inside. How cruel! But what of the villain? The villain was not to be seen, so I settled myself in the mouth of the cave, awaiting his arrival. How brave of you! Please tell us what happened then. I had not long to wait. Just as night was falling, the villain sneaked back to the cave with food for the gumdrop dragon. I challenged him with my sword, but he was a coward and surrendered immediately without a fight. You are very brave, my prince, and you shall have your reward. But first... Yes, Your Highness. Bring here the villain who stole my gumdrop dragon. At once, Your Highness. The villain! It is okay. He will harm no one. I would just like to talk with him. That is all. The villain! You are now in the presence of a princess villain. You will please bow. <laughs> Excuse me, Highness, I never have been in the press present of a princess before. No. And I, and I, and I, and I, I didn't know that I been I had to bow. No, villain. What is your name? Sir Sourwell. You stole my dragon. That was a very bad thing to do. I know. Then why did you do it? I'll tell you, Princess. The people of Kindleland were all happy except me. And and it I discovered that that it I it, it, it that was making that was making Candyland, everybody of Candyland happy. It was you, Princess! Me? Yes, you're very kind, Princess. Yes, they didn't know we were bad at things. And you gave me the best job of all. <coughs> you're very happy, Princess. At least you were. And I'm, and I'm happy to guard the kingdom for you. <coughs> I discovered that you were happy because of the gumdrop dragon. So I thought he would make me happy. She made me happy. She made me happy. But no, it didn't work. But I accept. I'm. But except I made everybody of Candyland happy. Unhappy. Unhappy. And. And also I was unhappy. <coughs> and also I made you unhappy. Oh, you poor Sir Sourball. You aren't a wicked villain. You're just an unhappy one. I wish I'd never stolen the gumdrop dragon. Listen to me, Sir Sourball. What you need to be happy are friends. Friends? I know. Where can I find friends? We're all friends with you here, aren't we, Court of Candyman? We're friends! We're friends! We're friends! We're friends. Help us celebrate the return of my gumdrop dragon. Prince Peppermint Stick, remove Sir Sourball's chains. He is no longer a villain anymore. Festivities at once, Your Highness. I think I better go now. No, please stay. You are sorry that you took my gumdrop dragon, and that is all that matters. Thank you, Princess. You're very kind. 
And now to celebrate the return of my gumdrop dragon. Oh, my darling gumdrop dragon, you're home, you're home. Yes, of course. It would be a pleasure to be the friend of a prince so true and brave. 